Hello everyone, I'm Tom Halleck from Mountain Lake PBS and we are so pleased that you are with us tonight for the premiere of this incredibly powerful film by Jivan Avedisian, who is a renowned Armenian filmmaker. His feature films, including The Last Inhabitant that we're watching tonight, have won acclaim and awards internationally. Jivan joins us from Yerevan in Armenia. It is a pleasure to welcome you and introduce you to our U.S. and Canadian viewers. And we are also happy to welcome back Vika Natarian, Armenian scholar and leader in the Armenian community in Montreal. Vika, it is so good to see you again. You are going to be kind enough to help us translate our conversation with Javon tonight. It's a pleasure being Javon, with you. It is so well, it's so nice to have everyone welcome. Javon, there has been ethnic fighting between your home country, Armenia, and its neighbor, Abidjan. Azerbaijan for more than 30 years, a war that has escalated once again just within the past year. You have produced more than 20 films and documentaries about the war in this region where you grew up in the Republic of Artsakh. What inspired you to make these films and why are you so passionate about sharing the story of what's happening in your homeland with the rest of the world? Jivan uh, Uremen Hartsumainet to Yerkar Jamana Filmeres Patrasteles, Taraska Surchani Masin, Haikakan, other Pechanakan Paterasmi Masin, Yevalen, Inchnevor Kes Nurs and Chuma, Inchnevor to Inchihamaris to Kataramai Polar Ashatank. Nach Shagatun Narutanamon, Shagatun Arsiamon, um, I always met Tatselem, Artsahum, Yelambosh Paterasma Teselem. Ոչ մի տեսել եմ, ապրել եմ, ապրել եմ իմ հայրը, եղ բայրը, իմ ընտանիքը, հարազատները, մի ողջ ժողովուրդ։ Եվ այն ինչ տեսել եմ ես 30 տարի եւ ավելի, արդեն ինձ հանգիստ չի տալիս, ես փորձում եմ աղաղակել, խոսել մի ողջ ժողովրդի անունից։ First of all, thank you for the opportunity to be with you. And it is true, I, uh, I have made many films, I have lived in Arta, I grew up there, but I have also witnessed a series of conflicts and wars. And it is important that uh, the stories of what happened be told that I have chosen over these 30 years, and this is something that my family, I have lived, my family has lived, my father, my brother, and my children, and the whole uh, nation and people are, are, are suffering through these conflicts. And that is why I have chosen to speak up and to tell these stories. And what is the message you hope people who are watching this film tonight will take away? Antanabes te ais filmu temel bolor filmede unen mes patgam kor i vercho kavutsunini Artsakhum yev Artsakhi jogovrti azad aprelu kamki artadutsuna kamke leselilini ambogh ashkharum vorovetev kartes ashkharum enkaleli kam haskanali kam janachili chi mer konflikte vor da uh, the real issue is that uh, the story that I'm trying to tell is about uh, people who want to live their free will to choose uh, the life that they want to live. And this is a story that is not actually being told. It's not sufficiently being told and people are not listening to the to the cry for uh, for for their freedom that that the, the population of Artsakh is trying to express in my films. And and the film we're watching tonight, The Last Inhabitant, tells the story of an Armenian father who refuses to leave his home, his village, even though Armenians are being forced out. The region is now controlled by Azerbaijan. He refuses to go. He is staying and caring for his, his daughter, who is suffering a mental breakdown after witnessing the murder of her husband. This film is based on a true story, Javon? Yes, of course. And we can, yeah, maybe, we can maybe ask him to expound on that a little. Janashum and Heros Neri, yes, but Mutsuna, Nayab Leselem, 
խոստել եմ իրեն ձեր ու ինձ հանգիշ չեր տալիս, միչ է, որ ես այս պատնությունը կարովանայի պատմեի, թե ինչպես կարող է մարդը լգվել, արտակսվել, բրնի ուժովի գյուղից և փորձի գտնի աղջիկան, որի հետ ամենավա� Uh, yes, the, the story is a true story, and I have known uh, all the main characters in person who have lived this story. Uh, and uh, it is a combination of multi-layered stories that have come. And uh, the story is, as you said, the story of a father. But uh, the real background story is the story of the daughter who had suffered uh, all the uh, murders and the massacres in the in the town of, of Sumgayit, where there was a vast population of Armenians who, who were exterminated. So uh, it is the story that uh, I'm trying to tell in this film, but the fact of it of them being the last inhabitants of a single village which has been overrun uh, is a true story. And in many ways, does this story parallel your life and what uh, fellow Armenians have endured during this war? Is every day, in a way, a fight for your lives and for your way of life? Uh, Ցավոք պետք է ասեմ այո, որովհետև մինչ որս պատերազմը շարնակվում է և մինչ որս կարող եմ ասել, որ պատերազմը պոխում է իր ուղակի ձևերը, բայց շարնակվում է և սա ներկայացնում է թե ինկ պատմությունը, ազնապես ինկ պատմու� Եվ ես տեսնում եմ եվ հիմա ինչպես են թանում է տամենը։ Իսկապես նաև վերջին բնակի չէ վիլմի մեջ շատ գեղեցիկ եսպես գծով հայկական ճենոսայդիս մինչ ծումգայիտ և արցավ եսպես թել կավոր մեկնվում եմ։ What has happened throughout the history, I do remember how my father was desperately until the last moment trying to uh, secure our, our physical well-being or, or our physical security throughout the various stages of these uh, war and these conflicts. And uh, there is a common thread. Uh, it's sort of like a, a, that comes along. It goes back from the, his, the time of the history of the genocide, and then also what happened in Artsakh over the past 30 years, and all the different wars and confrontations, and also what is happening even to this day and this and right now, uh, where where the Armenian population of Artsakh continues to feel threatened. And you, you talk about the wars and the confrontations. For those of us here in the States and Canada who have heard little about the war, it started around the time that the Soviet Union dissolved, and then it escalated in 2016, and again just within the past couple of years. The fighting, is it primarily over control of uh, the region known as Artsakh? Սովետականույության պուլուզումով և շարնագվեցավ մինչև հիմա իշտ այդ տարածկաշրջանի մասին է։ Արցախը երբեք ադրբեջանի մասը չի կազմել, միայն են շրջանում եվ որ ադրբեջանական սսերն ագրովություն ունեցել և որ սովետական Հայաստանի Հառության մաս։ Եվ որ Սովետական միությունը կանդվել է, իշպես բոլոր հանրապետություններն են հայտ ներկայացել Սովետական միությունի դուր զգալու, այնպես էր արցախի ինտնավար մարզը, որը ամբոչ ուժով ընդունելի 
Եվ ադրբեջանը դիմել է ալգրեսիայի։ Ես սկսել եմ մեծ պատերազ որոշարնացման միջորոց։ The point is that historically if if you examine all documents uh Artsakh is the region that has never been part of an independent Azerbaijan it has only been part of a uh, of the Soviet Azerbaijan region when all of these uh, these areas were a single country but uh, independent Azerbaijan had never uh, included the region of Artsakh and what has happened is that after the and as all the other uh, regions of the soviet union had voted for their own independence at the time in, in 1991 with the uh, dissolution of the soviet union so has artsakh in fact artsakh was much earlier than any other region and had requested its independence and its own parliament had actually voted to for the independence of the region the response of azerbaijan has been actually c- continued aggression ethnic cleansing pogroms against its armenian population within artsakh and also out of artsakh and that's exactly uh, what has uh, what the story that is the the root of the story that is being told in the last inhabitant it is the story of of the daughter yuga uh, so that is in a nutshell the the uh, the historical background but but i think i would like to add to this is that from a from a historical land perspective uh you have to appreciate that that region which was uh, an independent and autonomous region was actually cut off from armenia and granted in soviet times to azerbaijan by stalin and because all of the regions that were being uh the maps were being drawn at the time were considered a single country that was a historical injustice that was done by a dictator against the armenian people in favor of another internal soviet republic but but the independent uh, artsakh had had always rejected that uh, assignment and when the opportunities came back in 1988 with perestroika and glasnost by Mikhail gorbachev Artsakh asked uh, with its own parliament to uh, to be joined back to Armenia and then in 1991 it was actually the first ever region in all of the Soviet Union to vote for its own independence so it, it actually uh, proclaimed its independence even before Azerbaijan did so uh, Artsakh has never been historically both de jure and de facto part of any independent Azerbaijan state. And tens of thousands of soldiers and civilians have died. There, there have been peace talks uh, between Armenia and Azerbaijan in recent weeks. Uh, Javan, are you at all hopeful that there could be a ceasefire or do you fear that things are only about to get worse and possibly escalate again? Jivan Uraman Gasevor Verchin Jamanak Hahuchan Hamatsani Tuner, Panaksu Tuner, Kadarvin, who is Sunis for Bidi Hahuchum Dire, they have an upper Bidi Sharnagi Pan Chakatum. Jerku get off Patas Hanem Hartsi. Arachina Banaksuner Kalakagan, yes, Kalaka get him, yes, Divana get him. But in for a set of women, there's no banaxuner or tanume, drank sos the vacam bluetune, borovete, other bejani comits, chida tare, haka haikagan, aggression, borot the sagiti, jeb, hence a sore, dan tanuma or sapum, da rachina. Ye crota, ha, what some machine host with chica or linen yet in four with a comb, babara rashi. Make up mule by Teluada. Tastari, Santari, Yeresuntari, Kisunta Edo, or Vete Vete, Hima, Hawutsun, Teladrumek, Mes Partusan, Mijoto, Apamir, Et Sasuna, Partusun, Vera, Velum Bosnusan, Yev, Darsal Paterazmi, Yesa, Cartes Ashara Zagruma, or at Pestini. So, uh, there, I would like to say two points. First of all, that uh, I am not a, a politician. Uh, and it seems to me that right now what is happening is a, is a political process 
that is trying to uh, achieve some kind of a political uh, peace settlement. But a peace settlement must come in a way, the second point is a peace settlement must come in a way that should satisfy the needs of all parties involved. It shouldn't come uh, from a perspective of a peace being forced upon a winner, by a winner upon a loser. And, and, and that kind of a peace will again deteriorate over time and uh, it, it will explode again. So it is the intention that is important. And if the intention is to do ethnic cleansing, if the if intention is to eliminate all Armenians from that territory, and this is a context that I'm adding on, on the translation, uh, then there cannot be peace because that intention uh, it is is not based on goodwill. It is based on a specific approach to how to solve this problem. Javan, we mentioned that you've made more than 20 films and documentaries. You've made three feature films uh, to date, and all of them focus on the war. What is it that you want the world to know about the war and what it's doing to the Armenian people? Uramen Jivan Hartsuma Ainete Tun Yerekat Metz Filmer, Yergarametras Filmer, Padras Tajes, Inche Vor Guzes, Kalhavor, Batkamatal, Markans, the Inche Inchkagadar, the Hajo. Yes, Savok Chemkarov in Filmeri, Mijotso, Conflict Nera Hartel, Pateras Mere La Retsner, but his car of him Hartsera Rajasner. Yes, Portsumem Metz Hartsera Rajasner. Yes, Portsumem Chargel. Batsel Hamain Ashkaru, Martu, Achker, Martu, or Arant as good chunit. In Filmero, Hartsel, the Nel Markant, the Hum, Arant as good chan. Voice as Gimasinchi. Zgayan, Zgayakan, as the chun and al Taftal Martun, Sardin, Arant as good chunit. Or Ashkarim Yankunu, Paterasma. And Tanuma on Tanuma on Tanuma. Ye took Karoik, you are conchured, Hartsi Patakani, in Chua as Patras and Tan, a canon's name. It hearts a Patras no Chicago of the Petke, Jana Chili, and Tunelini, Artsahijo, or Tizani, Evida Bunker. So I'm I'm trying to, through my films, uh, I'm not. Uh, I can, I'm not a problem. I'm not solving problem. But what I'm trying to do is, I'm trying to say to the world to realize what is happening. I'm trying, and it's not really important who the people are. It is irrelevant of who the people that are uh, uh, involved in this situation are. The, I'm trying to put in your minds and put in the in the mind's eye and talk to the heart of the people about the suffering that is happening because of the conflict, because of the war. And this is a conflict that the story of the Artsakh people is a story, again, it is irrelevant of the nation. It happens everywhere in the world. And, you know, let me add some context here as well. It is happening right now. Uh, it is uh, on our media every day. But there are many other wars that we forget and we don't talk about. You know, it is happening in Tigray, it is happening in Yemen, it is happening uh, in, in Cameroon, it is happening in a lot of places in the world, and we are not talking about them. So it's important to uh, awake the human in us so that people realize that there is an important story and so that people mobilize that together as a humanity, we should be stopping these wars. Javon, your first feature film, Tevanik, starred a young actor who played the title character, a 14-year-old boy who gets caught up in the war. That actor, in real life, went off to fight in the war and was tragically killed on the front lines, fighting in defense of his homeland. How devastating was his death to you, to his castmates, and to everyone that worked on that film? որ այդ ժամանակ մի պատանի էր առաջին ֆիլմի մեջ եւ որ հիմա սողվեց պատերազմի ժամանակ վերջին պատերազմի ժամանակ ինչ էր այդ այդ իր զոհի եւ աստեցությունը իր ընկերների քո ֆիլմի աշխատակիցների եւ մյուսների վրա
Հեմանիկ վիլմով հովանեսը լխավոր դերագատարը են երի տասարդների են պատանեների մարմնացումն էր, որոնք որ ծնվել ենք ազատ արցախում և ունեին թեկուզ և պայմանական բայց խաղաղություն։ Եվ ես հիմա հետայած, որ նայում եմ դեպքերին և խոսում եմ մարդկանցեր, թեվանիկը այու զովվել է ադրբեջանական ագրեսիայի կողմին, բայց թեվանիկը զովվել է նաև համը խուլ և լուր աշխարի զողն է։ Եվ թեվանիկի մահող չի լրելու։ Եվ թեվանիկը հիմա խորդանիշն է դարել շատ ու շատ դերի տասարդների, շատ ավելի որբոքելով, հրահրելով մարդկան սրտում են կաջությունը, են սերը հայրենիք և դեպի անկավություն։ Թևանիկ ուաս դը յանգ մեն ուզ, բայ դու այ, ուաս նա դը պրովեսյնալ ակտր, ուաս ճստ է յանգ մեն ուաս մեն վիլջ մեն ակտրախակտրախակտրախակտրախակտրախակտրախակտրախակտրախակտրախակտրախակտրախակտրախակտրախակտրախակտրախակտրախակտրախակտրախակտրախակտրախակտրախակտրախակտրախակտրախակտր
so uh, first of all, I'm happy to announce that Gate to Heaven just uh, very, very recently, in fact, uh, yesterday, won uh, two more awards, uh, which is uh, Best Music and Best Cinematography uh, from the Armenian Film Academia. Uh, and uh, it is, uh, again, based on a true story, like most of Jivan's films. Uh, it is a story of what, of what happens in Artsakh, but it is really about uh, at a human level. It is not uh, a coincidence that the main uh, hero of Gate to Heaven is a German photojournalist uh, who has committed uh, a great sin. And uh, he is trying to correct that error in his life that he's committed because what happens is that in war uh humanity uh, commits uh commits a sin it they commit crimes but they they go away from their humanity the first victim victim of war is the humanity in all of us so he is trying to find back and regain back his humanity and that is why uh get to heaven is important it tells the story of the conflict uh, of the uh, of the 2016 war, uh, which which happened, but it has echoes that go back to the previous war, and also Gate to Heaven uh, uh, can be seen now in uh, in AMC theaters as of April 29th in in California, uh, in Detroit, in Miami, in Las Vegas, uh, but also Gate to Heaven is a symbolically. Uh, is is a call to humanity to repent its own sins that they have committed by ignoring the cry for help for the of the people of Arsa. And congratulations on your latest awards. That's wonderful, wonderful to hear. <laughs> your second feature film that we're watching right now, The Last Inhabitant, who helped make this possible? Tell us about the partnerships that created this film and and brought it to the big screen. Ու ամեն ով կեզի օգնեց, որ միացալ գերբով այս եկրորդ վիլմը, որ հիմա գտի դենք մեջ տեղ կա անոր մասին խոսիմ ես է։ Վիլմը ստեղցվել է չորս երկրների համատեղ արտադրության, դա Հայաստան, խոր արտադրող եկիրը, լիտվա, Dar best yasta gorzog ne? Filmi kompozitora nushanavoy nushanavor hay girajish ses tankyan ne? Filmi kxavor derum kxavor me hay kini parsik derasan hamayun eshati hay derasan ne hay kini? Men kortsu men artsafi shurc avakel te tekta gorzog derasan ne yev tes tekta gorzog mit yev. Բոլորը սիրահոժար հասկանում են կոնֆլիկտը օտարները, հասկանում են արցախի, պայքարի, արդարացի կողմը և մաս են կազնում։ Պրոյեկտները զարգանում են, զարգացնում են կանում, բերլինում և աշխայտարբեր անգյուններից գտնում so, so the last inhabitant is is a is a five-way co-production. Uh, the main producer is uh, obviously from Armenia, but uh, the co-producers include uh, Lithuania, uh, they include uh, the United States, uh, uh, also Lebanon. Which uh, Ulkar Jivan in Chimorata? And and Sweden and Sweden. Uh, so the, it's it's a five-way co-production, and uh, in the film we have uh, also, uh, you know, uh, a great. Uh, the film's music is the great Armenian musician uh, from the U.S., uh, Serge Tankian, uh, famous for for, uh, for for his uh, contribution to to rock music from System of a Down. You you may or may not know of him. Uh, then uh, we also have Himayun Ershadi. Who is a great uh, uh, Iranian uh, actor, winner of the Palm uh, Palmador from Cannes, uh, 
uh, the film the film is developed uh, you know with uh, with cooperation from Cannes Festival and, and the Berlin Festival. So what we're trying to do is to create around the story of Artsakh uh, a common uh, people of common interest who who understand uh, the depth and the, the various ranges and and the cooperation required because we believe only that through this cooperation is that we can uh, make successful high quality international films. And let me add that, uh, and this is my own uh, comment here, is that it is very important. This is the first time uh, an Armenian feature film is being presented on uh, on on the PBS network, and Mountain Lake PBS is is bringing this story. So I would encourage everyone to uh, come on board and participate. Please. Uh, make a call to the number on your screen, uh, become a member of Mountain Lake PBS because it is only through this channel that you can uh, get to see this feature film and hopefully other feature films as well made by Jivan and other uh, other Armenian filmmakers. Uh, I just think- let me ask you, uh, Vikan, let me ask you, how important is this to have this film, The Last Inhabitant and other films? Javan's films, other Armenian films on PBS. How critical and important is that? Well, well, I, I, I think I think it is very important because uh, it shows a different level over the years. As you know, Tom, we have been working uh, to bring documentaries about the history of Armenia, the history of the genocide, uh, about various uh, cultural uh, heritages and so on, immigrant heritages, and and you know we've cooperated, you know for many many years very successfully but now we are we are talking at the novel level we are talking at a level of artistic creation as a film as the story but uh you know Jivan's films are unique because they are all of his films are based on real stories and they have a specific feature in them that the quality of the film is in high international production they are not local production and uh, the cultural cooperation that happens, the whole act of the creation of the film itself becomes in of itself uh, a work that encourages the messaging that PBS provides, which means that we are looking at understanding each other. And we are looking at understanding each other through powerful, powerful films. And uh, this last inhabitant is, is just one example. It is extremely important. Really, how they navigate that? Shot shot care for it. Catch a little check. High gagan film ready. Arda tuchuna. Yev tuta tuchuna. Mountain Lake PBS. Sivra. Anta makre check. An habagoren. Anta mirek. Heratsai net check. Heratsai net tivin. Vorbesi. Jivani film erun. Yev na yev. Urish high gagan zraki neru tuta tuchuna. Hachori watch me an aister al na yev ampoch. Mountain Lake PBS. Yev PBS. San Sivra. Եթե ցույց կտաք ես էլ կմիանամ Պարոնատարյանի ոսկին կոչին իսկապես ուրախալի է եւ հայկական արտադրության հայաստանի հանրապետությունում արտադրված ֆիլմը կարող է ցուցադրվել նման հերոստակայանում միացեք հերոստակայանին բայոնտագրվեք Մոնթեն Լեյք PBS հերոստան գերությանը ու շարունակեք եւ շարունակենք միասին այս շղթան ցուցադրությունների well, that was the message of his message to support the station. So, thank you, thank you for that. He mentioned Javan talked about the international cast, an incredible cast in the Last Inhabitant. How was it directing such a such a wonderful cast? որ միջազգայիններ ինչպես է անոնց թեմատությունը ինչպես կադարվեցավաց աշխատանքը Ես թե Պարսիկ դերասան համայնի շատի ինչ է Լիթուանացի դերասան ու Սանդա Սանդրա դաուշայտի ինչ է հույն դերասան ու ես բոլորին առաջարկել եմ մասը լինել մի գեղեցիկ պատմության եւ ապա նրանց տվել եմ սցենարը եւ ապա նրանց տվել եմ Tasniak, Hotvasnev, Mijas Gainoren, Verbat, Ronk Hastatuen, Patmutsuna, 
նրանք սիրել են գեղարվեստական պատմություն ու ֆիլմի բայց նաև ես փորձել եմ նրանց ասել որ տեսեք իրական պատմության մասին խոսում են ոչ թե հայերը ես այդ խոսումը համաշխարհային մի շարք հրատոմիջոցներ ինչպեսի նույնակ հիմա այս ուրեք նաև համարեն TBS ընկերությանը Quantum Lake հրարձակվում Եվ բնականաբար պատմությանը եւ սցենային ծանոթանալուց հետո իրենք սիրահոժար մեծ ցանկությամբ մաս են կազմել։ Սա եղել է նրանց համար ոչ միայն ֆիլմ, այլ նաև միացել են մի ժողովրդի պայքարի։ Այդպես են իրենք դարձել սա։ So uh Jivan is saying that uh what he has done his approach was unique because uh both the the persian uh the lithuanian and the greek uh you know the international cast of uh, uh artists uh they have all obviously been have have seen the script and and they've liked it the artistic treatment but once they like they like the story what i what uh, he also did is he provided to them with all the news item coverages by the international media of the exact story or the various story threads that are treated in the film so that they actually understood uh the the real events that were that were the inspiration for the film and apart from that the next level was that they were actually physically there and participated when when the things were being shot so it's they they were part of the landscape the people you know the 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 sights and the smells and and you know the uh you know the the nature and everything else so so he is saying that the way i look at this is that all of the artists international crew and and the cast and everybody else who participated they are part of the struggle of of the people of arta and that's how he approaches his artistic creation Jivan, tell us about your next film project. Is it already in the works? Yes. Merhat filma revival ne? Vora chat geretsik martkani patmutyun e. 4 gkhavor herosner, 4 martik tarber azgutyan, tarber kroni. Tepker entanum en 44 օրա պատերազմի ընթացքում որին ես ինքս մասնակցել եմ 38 օր Արցախի տարբեր շրջաններում եւ ֆիլմի պատմությունը նրա մասին է թե անկախ նրանից թե դու ինչ ազգիթես կամ ինչ կրոնից որքան մոտ կամ հեռու ես պատերազմին միերին է պատերազմը քեզ հեղեղի բես գալու է եւ այսպես հավատին սրբի տանում որովհետեւ դու խոլես ամրես ես լուրես անկախ նա այսը որ կա մոտ հեռու ես եթե կա պատերազ խոկյանքի վրա ունենալու այ հետեկությունները բայց ապ եղեցիկ մարդկային լուսավոր պատմությունը թե պես եւ պատերազմի մասին Well uh the next film is called The Revival which is in the works uh we are working on it it is a very powerful story about the most recent war which took place in uh, 2020 uh it was a 44 day day war of which uh in which jivan uh, was directly witnessed uh 35 days of of that war he, he was present on the front lines in various and various uh, lines of engagement uh, and the story is uh includes uh it's the story of four uh four main characters uh of different backgrounds uh different nationalities different religions uh and uh what happens is that uh the war comes and and it basically uh hits them like 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 a like a tempest like a like a big storm and 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 uh sweeps uh pr- puts upside down all of their lives and basically disturbs them completely uh because that's what a war does regardless of where you are and who you are war will always affect you uh you may or may not realize it and that's the powerful story that that, 
you are trying to tell. The war will affect you. It will change you. Uh, specifically, if you do nothing, if you choose to be silent, if you choose not to see, if you choose not to speak about it, if you choose not to hear about it, that alone will affect you because it will change you for the worse. It will tear you away from your humanity. And that's what we're trying to, to say uh, in this new powerful film called Revival. And you just talked about the dangers, the challenges of trying to produce films and filming them in actual war zones. Have you encountered resistance? Have the government and military tried to keep you from, from covering the war and, and showing what's happening? What I mean, Chat Pejwari, Badrazmi Shirchani Mech, Pim Ardatele, Nakinin, Gam Hima, Panav Pejwari Tuner Unetsades, Nagara Hanum Neruba, Jamanak, Gam Inchbeska, Darvaden, I spoiler. In Film in a carman, Jamanak, yes, in a film shot meta jokes soon. Tashka has put a chunk of meat. If they shot Tarbell and Giris Neriko meets Otar, Yerger Nedum, Otaras Geek, nor the Droneri, Yamina Karevor, yes, on a film meta jokes soon, yet name Artsahijo or Tia Jokson, Yurakan Chur Mart instead of filmed it in Nehamar. Tef Nahamalum, or yes, it ternem, but no, it poharenem possum, it hamalem possum, makes filmero and bochas for him. The Jorosuner Kani Harke, Possum dot net, it's a good that I must think about men, but makes their summing, the Jorosan by their summing, all are good. Well, uh Filmmaking in general, especially independent filmmaking, is difficult in the world. It is uh, uh, the main, and filmmaking in Armenia is even more difficult because of the financial and economic challenges. Uh, but I have uh, always had the support of, uh, you know, various, uh, you know, institutions, various uh, people, and also like uh, many Armenians from the diaspora have have supported my film uh, production initiatives as well as the international cooperations that I have had uh, which, uh, in all of my films. Uh, and uh, of course, there are various difficulties, but I think for me, the most important support that I have had are the people of Artsa, because every single uh, citizen of Artsa considers my films as his voice. They consider uh, my uh, work as his own creation. and. Uh, they consider uh, the work that I do an essential part of their continuous struggle. Uh, and that is why I continue to do the work that I do, because I take on that responsibility. Jivan, thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us. Do you have any uh, final thoughts? Vercin Hoskerieta Unisiselik. Yes, national columns, Kabes, Yavis make on Kam, Kantem, or Bolor, Hail of Kerti Tumen, Antama Gilben, Miana, Eva Jackson, Filmiri, Sadruzana, Mountain Lake, PBS, Hosta Kayani. If you were Chihosk, yes, Katsanganai or Avata Tasin, a dog child sooner or Artahijo or Amura. Մենք Sava Kiselu, the Kume, or when they give more, give it up, 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 give
արցախում դար հարատեղ խաղողություն եվ ես եվ իմ այլ է իմ պապը, պապի պապը եվ այդպես սերուններ, որ ապրել ենք արցախում, շանակենք ապրել եվ ունենենք մեր խաղողությունը իպրև Հայաստանի Հանրապետության մաս։ So I would like to first of all thank you again Mountain Lake PBS for this opportunity and I urge all my uh, uh, fellow Armenians to to call in and become members of the station and support this station uh, uh, but I would like to uh, I would like to say to to my my fellow uh, Armenians that uh, the people of Artsakh uh, are strong they are strong because they live on their land even though times may be difficult but they have continuously shown uh the their their capacity to to, to continue and, and live on their land and their will to to live uh, and for all those people who are non-armenians i would like to say that uh consider our story your story uh look into your hearts and uh if you want real peace to reign on the planet the real peace can only come back if we all behave as human beings and it's that humanity in all of us that is the common thread and that's what uh, i'm trying to tell and that's what we the people of arts are counting on so that our wish is that the same way as my great grandfather and my grandfather and my father and myself then following on future generations as well live in the land of artsakh the land of artsakh the land of armenia thank you very much jivan vik no. anything to uh no, that's yep. thank he you is thanking me for my translations <laughs> uh, all right. And thank you, Vikan. We appreciate it so much. Anything to add, Vikan? I think the context is important. This is uh, the film is, uh, uh, is, is about humanity. It is about, about people. It is about, uh, and again, you know, we see in this, in the storyline, uh, people who technically would be, uh, on opposite sides of the conflict, then they, they do come together because of that humanity. Uh, I would like to add a context. Maybe we can we can talk it in in the next segments. Uh, you can choose it. You can take it now or afterwards. But sure. uh, I I look at the news like all of you. Uh, I look at the suffering that is happening in the Ukraine. But I personally know of many people from that part of the world where husband and wife are Ukrainian and Russian and their children are the uh, product of both nations. Uh, they speak the language interchangeably at their homes. And, and I, I worry about uh, the suffering of these people, their internal suffering. I, I worry about uh, how our humanity uh, is taken away in these conflicts and people will be forced to make choices. People will be forced to reject their own selves. And this is the greatest victim of wars. And this is why wars must be banished. This is why peace must reign because uh, it is the destruction of our own selves. And I think Jivan's films are powerful because of that. They remind us, I mean, in Tevanik, there is a scene at the beginning where we see Aram who is running and is, you know, is asking for his mother. Uh, it's not this film, it's the, first, it's the previous film. Mm -hmm. But then again, that is a couple who are made of two different technically people, but they are two human beings who have formed a couple, right? And uh, what should they do? And, and these are very, very real, real questions that they should be asked. These questions were asked in the various wars in the past, you know, in the First World War, in the Second World War, and so on. But we have forgotten about, about these, our own internal conflicts. And I think, and I think Jivan's films are powerful because they tell us that it is that addressing that conflict and confronting it is the only way 
that we can overcome this evil. So that's all I wanted to say. All right. Jivan, Beacon, thank you both very much. We so appreciate you being here. Coming up, we're going to talk with the film's executive producer, Audrina Mirzayan, about her longtime collaboration with Jivan. That's coming up in just a few moments, but now let's send it over to my colleague, Jen Kowalczyk. <laughs>